Good morning, everybody, and happy almost 4th of July. I'm here for another steaming into 4th of July activity. This one is all about paint bombs. I'm going to show you how to make two today. One that is great for more of your littles, even our older kids like it, and then one um, for our tweens and teens. So we have school age, preschool, and then one for tweens and teens. So what you're going to need is a paper towel cut into fourths, a film canister, some plain white distilled vinegar, a bunch of baking soda, you can't go wrong, get a lot of it, um, red, white, and blue paint, or paint of your color, I'm doing red, white, and blue because it's festive, some warm water, and an alka seltzer tab. You're also going to need a few Ziploc bags. Now, what you are going to be doing is I'm going to start with the Ziploc bag one, which is our younger um, kid version. This one, you are going to put a half a cup of vinegar and one fourth of a cup warm water. So into your Ziploc. Um, and you're also going to put paint. Whatever color paint you want, it's best to always use um, washable paint because otherwise you will be sad because it could stain. This, I'm prepping these bags inside, but this is definitely, you need to go outside activity to do. Um, I also forgot to tell you, you're going to need like a piece of poster board or cardboard or a large piece of paper because these are gonna explode and if you put paint in them, they can stain if you have the wrong kind of paint. So here is our fourth of a cup warm water. Then we need a half a cup of vinegar. And I have a fourth of a cup out, so you need to put two in. Okay. So that is what you're doing right there. Next, you're going to add your paint. You can also add food coloring. Food coloring doesn't turn out as bright um, as the paint and doesn't really make a pretty mural. So if you're kind of looking like, hmm, maybe we can turn this into a lovely piece of art, then definitely use some paint. Um, you're just gonna squirt how much ever paint you want in there. Um, and then you're going to either seal it up and kind of wiggle it around a little to kind of stir that paint in there, or you can use a spit. I'm just going to kind of give it a little shake. Um, and as you can see, now we have some blue. Next, you're going to take your paper towel. You are going to put two table, two tablespoons. I have one big giant two tablespoon thing. Um, of baking soda in the middle of your paper towel that you have cut into fourths. Um, and you can experiment with different amounts of baking soda and different amounts of water in the paint. Um, that is part of the fun of exploding paint bombs, is you, as the creator, get to decide how you are going to do it. And a lot of it is guessing um, the reactions that's going to happen. So what you're going to do is you're gonna put the, those tablespoons in the middle of your paper towel. You're going to fold your paper towel over like that, and then over again, so you make a nice little packet. Okay, so our first paint is prepped. So that's, now, now you have your baking soda packet. So done, prepped. Do not put it in your bag yet. You will be sad if you put it in your bag in the house because your mom will not be happy with you. Okay, your second one. You are going to add 50% paint and 50% water into your film canister. Yes, you need a film canister um, or some other, I, you probably could get it to work with like a Tupperware. You will have to increase and play around with how many Alka-Seltzer tabs you use, which is a fun bit of science as well. Um, I'm using a film canister. So we did blue, I'm going to do red in this one. And it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Um, don't like get all caught up in like, I don't know. Okay, so there's that. Um, I filled maybe 
a quarter of the way up and then put another bit with that.